Welcome to Seek University. Today we'll be using the new Seek Organizer application, which is included in Seek R18. I will begin by navigating to New Button, where there are now two applications in Seek to choose from. I can create a new workbench analysis, which we have been able to do in the past, or an organizer topic. Seek Organizer is a new application for assembling analyses and materials for distribution to others while maintaining links to the underlying Seek data. I will click to open a new organizer topic. I can easily change the name of the organizer topic by clicking and typing in the title box along the top. I can also easily change the text to whatever heading or format I would like. One of the important new features in organizer is the formatable date ranges, which could include capsule as well as time periods. By clicking the plus next to date ranges, I can create a new specified date range. I will then select a specific duration I would like to use. I can also select multiple durations per topic. For now, I will select Monthly, leave the All option selected, and click Save. Then I will select the default primary range and click Save again. Next, I will navigate to the Insert Seek Material button and select Worksheet to insert the analysis I want to share. I will select my desired workbook and then the worksheet I would like to insert and click Select. In the Date Ranges drop-down menu, I can select a date range from the worksheet or I can select the primary range I created for this organizer topic. Then I will click Insert. Now we see we have a table with information from the worksheet but using the primary range I previously selected. Updating this report for next month would simply require an update to the date range. Also, to add another date range, I can simply click the plus button again, select Weekly Range, select the default, name my new range, and click Save. Next, I will navigate to the Insert Seek Material button again to add a link. I will navigate to my desired information, copy the link, paste it into the link box, and click Use. This time, I will select Weekly as my preferred date range and click Insert. As we can see, the graph from my linked material is now in the organizer topic. To move the graph, I can simply drag it to next to my table and click Enter to shift it to the next line. The future data, predictably, has not populated. Now I'm ready to share this organizer topic, so I will click the PDF button, which will automatically open the PDF in a new window. Now I can copy the URL to send this PDF as a link, save it, or print it. Whenever I click on the PDF that was generated, it will automatically launch Seek and can bring up the data that is behind the images in Organizer in a viewing-only mode, so I can share my work with someone without allowing it to be edited. Seek organizer topics can be as complex or as simple as you like. The key thing is that they are easy to assemble from one or many Seek workbooks, they remain linked to the underlying data to facilitate easy follow-up analytics, and they are time relative and therefore easy to update for weekly reviews, monthly reports, or a daily stand-up meeting. This was an introduction to using the organizer topic feature in Seek. Thank you.